Hello, guys. In this lesson, we're going to talk about getting traffic to your website using Pinterest. Let's get started. Pinterest has been the platform that can help increase traffic to your website. The pins that you will create and upload on your Pinterest profile can be discovered by more people and they will be redirected to your website, increasing your website traffic. But it will take some time before you have a collection of pins and boards since it is not advisable to upload tons of pins in just one day. To get more website traffic, you need to make your pins discoverable on the platform. First, use the right keywords. Use the Pinterest search engine and the guided tool to add to your list of ideas for the keywords that you will use in your pins or board's title and description. This will tell Pinterest that your pins and boards are relevant to those pinners who are searching for these keywords that you have included in your pins and boards, increasing your visibility on the search results and the chances of pinners landing on your website. Next, pin consistently. Pinterest gives priority to show pins to more pinners, especially when it's a fresh content. Pinterest wants its users to share new pins to every user interested in the niche you are in. Once the algorithm notices that you keep on sharing quality pins to your viewers, it will increase your impressions, thus showing your content to more pinners. Take note that you must gradually upload new pins and save other people's pins. For boards, it's recommended to create a maximum of 10 boards per day, while 25 pins are the maximum post of pins per day. Your website content will have a greater chance to get more website traffic once you add fresh content every week. Fresh content can be a pin from your old blog content, new blog post, or a link to a product. You can make multiple pins. Fresh content is considered when you upload a new image as your pin, even if it's using the same website URL. If you have a blog content, you can keep on showing the same content to your target audiences and creating multiple images for that content. You just have to make sure not to upload them every day. And be sure to edit the title and description of those pins and make them unique. Space out the days when you're uploading new pins on your boards. It's safe to have a 48-hour space in between before uploading a new image pin for the same website content. In between those days, you can repin other people's content so that you can keep on updating your boards with new pins even if it's not your own pin. This will allow your boards and pins to show up on your followers' feed or people who have an interest in your pins. Add relevant hashtags. Try converting long tail keywords into hashtags. So just remove the spaces in between. For example, type in the keyword outfit and you'll see suggested long tail keywords in the drop down. You can use outfit ideas summer and turn it into a hashtag. When you check out this first pin, you'll notice that Pinterest gave this pin priority over the other pins since it used the hashtag that we have typed in the search box. If you use these keywords and remove the hash key, you may notice that it showed us different search results. Hashtags can increase your content's visibility on the search results. Thus, more pinners can discover your pin, and as they click on it, they'll be redirected to your website, and you'll get more traffic to your website. You can drive traffic to your website using your pins and boards. Create multiple pins for your blog content and upload them 48 hours in between. During the times that you're not uploading that content, you can share pins from other users relevant to your brand's niche. Keep on researching for relevant keywords that you can use for the multiple pins that you're going to create for one URL link redirecting people to your blog content. Now that you know about getting traffic to your website using Pinterest, we can now proceed to the next topic, engaging with other Pinterest users. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.